All right, everyone. So uh, I figured while I had my pedal board taken apart mostly here, I might do a, a quick video on this because it is a, a pretty handy uh, pedal board that meets most of my needs. Uh, let's see. This is the SKB model PS45 pedal board. And uh, the main thing that you're seeing back here is like the adapter. It's like where you would plug it in. It's got this cable kind of like hardwired into it. That's just your standard plug. But you also have three normal plug ports right here. I've got two that I kind of use uh, there all the time. Then you have eight of these little ports right here that kind of use this little eighth inch jack looking deal. But then goes to a normal plug, it says those are 9 volt DC, 100 uh, milliamp maximum per output it says. And the key thing over here is like this uh, place where you can plug things in. So you can see that I've got tape going across it and then numbers. And that's just to help with uh, one of the more complicated setups that I was using. So I might even lift that up so that we can kind of see what's actually going on. But you can see we have two paths going across here. The top one right here that I've got numbered as one is from the guitar. So the, the way that I've got this set up is all my pedals are just plugged in and then basically a few of these spots in the back are left open where I can just go bam, 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 and just plug in uh, the four cable method cables that I need to run from my guitar to the pedal board, then to my amp, back to the pedal board, and then return to the effects loop of the amplifier that I'm using. So let's see, the way that I normally do it is by running my guitar to here, and then this would go to the first pedal, which then I believe returns to here. Uh, then this, these two act as the effects loop. So first pedal going to the amp, uh, goes here, that goes straight to the amp, this is the effects return, and then this one right here would be the one that's, uh, let's see, yeah, that spot goes back to the pedals, seven is where you return, like you're going back to the amp, skip these two, so basically these are the only two ports not getting used the way that I use it, and then this one is going to return back to a single amp. The way that they intend you to use it is kind of like stereo from this point on. So you could do from the pedal to these two spots. So still guitar here, then to the first pedal. Then it's thinking like, okay, you're going to run to two amps or from a stereo pedal or something. You'd use these two spots. Then these are kind of like their own effects loop right here. So these two ports are going to interrupt the signal flow from here. So it did take a little while for me to figure out exactly how to wire this thing up to get it to work for my setup, but it worked great. So again, this is stereo inputs for the board, stereo routing uh, to go to back to pedals, I assume, and then this would be the outputs you would use to go to an amp. And as far as the, uh, the floor space on it, I don't have measuring tape to give you the exact measurements on it, but let's see how many pedals. And I put on this thing. Of course, these are not wired up or anything. I do kind of wish that this thing had a way to elevate the pedals a little bit more. I've had to kind of build ways to kind of elevate the pedals a little bit more in some cases. Uh, let's see, here's an expression pedal. a volume pedal that's exactly how I would set it up too just like that so two four six eight ten I mean, 13 normal ish size pedals you know can fit on this thing so uh, yeah again you know it's not uh, too complicated other than just like getting this stuff how you want it but it's it's cool options I mean you can get away with less than that but it, it really makes it so that I can just run up on stage with my four cable methods uh cables and then just plug them in bam 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 just right across the top there so this is the lid that would come with it there mine has been colored on and used and everything you have these kind of switch little knobs for it there 
So pretty solid. I've never had an issue with that. It can get a little heavy. Uh, like when I have all my pedals in here, I'm actually going to a show. I mean, it, it can be just as heavy as uh, the amp head that I'm carrying as well. So yeah, I'll go ahead and wrap this one up for today. I'll probably be using this pedal board in another video at some point. Maybe I'll even actually go through the routing on it, but I just figured I'd uh, do a quick video while it was all uh, stripped of all the pedals there. So I will talk to you again soon. Thanks.